EA Sports coverage of the National Football League takes us to the City of Angels, Los Angeles, California. The City of Angels showing it can be loud and raucous. This was the scene a moment ago as the home squad emerged from the tunnel. They're ready for football and ready to watch their Rams do battle with Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers. Greg Zerline, the Rams kicker, approaches, kicks it off, and here we go from Los Angeles. Fielded about a yard deep. Oh, he's going to take this out of the back of the end zone, and that's going to be a safety. So how's that for an interesting way to start this ball game? <laughs> First drive of the game, and you go backwards all the way into your own end zone? Guess it kind of makes you wonder what else we might have in store here in this one. And an alley to run. <laughs> Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. A play fake to Gurley, now gone. They'll roll him out right. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Zadarius Smith charging hard from that linebacker spot, and he drops him for a loss of 11. Now they're in some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21. Now gone. And the open receiver, it's Robert Woods. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. That's a gain of 10. Makes it third and 12. Three and out, a real danger here on their opening drive as they come up on a third and 12. A shotgun snap for gone. And Woods has it complete. And he can only manage to take the football to the 40, and that is well shy of the first down marker. Just a five-yard pickup, and it leads to fourth down. So the Rams call on Johnny Hecker here to punt it away on fourth down. And he didn't quite have the backspin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. Rodgers will bring the pack up with a first and ten at the 20. From the gun, it's Rodgers. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked out and incomplete. Nikel Roby Coleman there defensively. It's always a battle. Who's going to win on first down? The offense or the defense? Let's face it, if you've got the ball, four yards or more on first down is what you're aiming for. They tried to throw for it there. Nice effort to knock that one away and bring up second down. After the incompletion, here's second and ten from the 20. Play fake to Jones. Here's Rodgers. He gets this to Devontae Adams. And he'll go down at the 26 following a gain of six. One thing we do know, he's going to get his catches. So as they move forward defensively, got to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the second day. They face a third and four after that last completion gets them six. Check 99. 
Rodgers. Shotgun now for Rodgers. And that will be incomplete. Jalen Ramsey right there in coverage to knock it away. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. Now Natson. An excellent return that time, 26 yards. And the Rams will go on offense here for the first and 10. The L.A. offense ready to go for their next drive. And the last drive, the first drive for them, not very good. Three and out. What do they go to here? Well, you don't look down at your play sheet and say, this is what the problem is. Yeah, let's find out who my playmakers are. Get the ball in their hands, and maybe the offense will move a little bit Sometimes better. it's more important to get it to the right people rather than dialing up the right number. Exactly. Or the, the right play, yeah. That too. <laughs> Here's second and ten now from the 35. They go play action with Gurley. Now gone. Looking to side for Woods, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jair Alexander, and he's able to get it back here to the 43-yard line. Try to get it to Woods. Oh, man, Brandon, not a real good throw that time. He looked like he tried to put a little too much air under this one, and it turned into a floater. And defensively, this is a dream. He could have fair caught that one. That was way too easy. The first carry now. This is Williams. And some nifty running right away as he'll get this up past the 30. It's a gain of 12, and the Packers have the first. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. On first down, nothing opening up really on the running play. Give him maybe a yard, and it'll be second down. Tackle there by Clay Matthews. One yard game brings up second and nine at the Rams' 30-yard line. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Rodgers gives this to Jamal Williams. A gain of two there on the heels of a one-yard pickup on first. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense and they can add up as the game goes along. They control the clock, they control the ball, and that way you often control the game. In a heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked off by John Johnson. And a terrific return as he'll take it up past the 35. Now, oh, Brandon, this is a veteran quarterback back there. He should know better than to make a throw like this. This is definitely not his best ball, and I think he knew this was trouble the second it was leaving his hand. The L.A. offense ready to go for their next drive. It's been an awfully slow start for them. This is their third possession. They don't have a first down yet. So that means they have to change up what they're doing, and for some teams, it's a change in tempo, usually moving it to more up-tempo type of an offense just to try and change their fortunes right now. What they've been doing so far isn't working. Maybe they'll do that. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Here's the first carry now for Todd Gurley. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. And that's some good tackling there to keep him short of that yellow line. Yeah, defensively, all I'm thinking is that on that play, get me to third down. Get me into a position where I can make one more play and get my defense off the field. And I see an extra defensive back on the field. Little surprise here on third and one. Goff now looks to throw. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Zadarius Smith picks up his second sack of the afternoon. 
whenever you see a team deciding to throw the ball in third and one, as a defensive player, my mindset is we've got them now, and that's why they dialed up the blitz and got after them. But occasionally, you want to pass it on third and one. I mean, not a lot for sure, but sometimes just to keep the defense guessing. Oh, no doubt. You want to break tendencies as you go along with a game because you don't want them to just say, oh, third and one, we know exactly what they're going to do. But in this situation, as an offensive lineman, as a running back, I'd want to know why I didn't get the football. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And this is a unit that, to be frank, doesn't look like they've woken up yet. I mean, a punt and a turnover on their first two drives. And I think the game's starting to take shape a little bit now. And I'm going to take it into the basketball world. When you're having trouble scoring or moving the ball in basketball, what do they do? Get it to their best player, right? Find a matchup, create it, exploit it, and try and move the football. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. To throw is Rodgers. Throwing again. He's got the hook up to Lazard. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. We are in for a good one as we're through one on EA Sports. Second down pass play got him eight yards. Now they've got a third and a couple remaining. Looks to throw, fires right side, and that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. the call here they need two yards in their own territory on fourth down and they're going to go for it they do go for it it's rogers he's got adams on the hookup and they nearly get this all the way to midfield mark him down at the 49 21 yards there a big play on fourth down This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Rodgers again now. Going to throw right side here. Complete. And great yardage here all the way deep into Los Angeles territory. It's a big play there for Green Bay. 44 yards. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Again, they'll throw with Rodgers. His pass caught at the four. And he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three. Three yards is the gain that time. Second and goal. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Let's go, defense. And again, it's Rodgers. And oh, it'll be intercepted. 
Let it well and it's picked. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. So that's back-to-back -back drives where they've thrown an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. The L.A. offense ready to go for their next drive. They've shown very little offensively to this point. Well, neither team has, really. And they come up here now, first down. Goff now looking to throw. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Slipping into the backfield for the sack was Oren Burks. Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Here we go. Here we go. Now it's gone. Open man, Higby, the tight end. And he'll go down right on the edge of the red zone following a pickup of about seven or eight. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives him a much better opportunity to convert on third down. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. From the gun, here's gone. Man open, it's cup. he's got it. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 16 yards is the pick up there and a first down for L.A. I don't care how many times we see it. I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Delayed give there out of the gun. Defense was ready. And I'm not a big fan of a draw play out of the shotgun formation because the quarterback's not having much action where he's getting away from the line of scrimmage. He's catching the football, making a little head fake, and then handing it off. You should be able to read it as they did there. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Woods, the intended receiver, and it'll bring up third down. The beauty of being able to play a zone defense when you can sit back and see the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands, guess what? Creates a lot of confusion, kind of a muddle in the middle of the field where you can go make a play on the football. The Rams on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and ten. Out of the gun, gone. And a throw there going to be incomplete. So it doesn't look like they're going to be able to build off the turnover. Well, the defense certainly did its part. It got them the football, but you're exactly right. It looks like they're going to have to punt this one away. And it's not a turnover, but doesn't it feel like one after grabbing the momentum with the defensive play? Yeah, and they had all that momentum after getting the football, and now zapped right back in the other direction. 1.57 to go in this first half Good on one, EA let's Sports. Go. Let's go. that coming up at halftime we'll take you to Orlando and Jonathan Coachman coach will have highlights and analysis of this first half one that's featured no touchdowns as of yet on either side so his job's a little bit easier for this halftime need to, to get the coach some highlights here yes we do and he's going to get this one across the 30 yard line 13 yards first down Packers now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, tight, sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area, so you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. 
And they give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Under team, under team. Rodgers with a give, it's Aaron Jones. And hard running's gonna get him over the 40 to the 42. I think we can safely say that those types of plays are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's gonna be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. The Rams go nickel here defensively on third. Now Rodgers. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Dante Fowler coming in to drop it for a loss of eight, and it also brings up fourth. Here's J.K. Scott now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. Here's Natson. 12 yards on the return that time. And control of the football, switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. The L.A. offense ready to go for their next drive. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it, and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want... He's got a man complete. He's at the 30. 10. Touchdown, L.A. Cooper Cup in the final seconds of the first half. And the Rams strike quickly here for six points. And that's a lead that excites a team as they head into the half. Good way to finish things off. Yeah, able to extend that lead, and you always say it. That can totally change the complexion of half number two. Yeah, it changes your morale, changes your outlook. But even before that, let's see if they decide to kind of squib kick or what they're going to do on the kickoff, because you don't want to give up a big play right before the half ends. Good point. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. Short, short kick. One of the up middle take it now. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, getting set for quarter number three here. The Rams going to get the football first here, and they look to build on their lead as the second half gets started. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The L.A. offense ready to go for their next drive. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you term that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies. Try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. We'll see if they do just that. Here's second and seven now from the 12th. Again, they run with Gurley. They'll only get a couple up to about the 30. Tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. Goff now to throw. Gets this into the hands of the tight end, Higby. Good defense holds him to only a yard, and it'll be fourth down. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, 
You see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. First and 10 at their own 26 yard line. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. <laughs> Shocker. <laughs> try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. Single, single. Check, check. Fresno, Fresno, Fresno. Easy, easy, easy. Here's Rodgers to throw again. His throw incomplete. Nikel Roby Coleman there defensively. We've seen these defenses make enough opportunistic plays to keep this one low scoring. Flying around, making plays on the ball, and we see yet another Aaron throw as a result. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Well, the two men come together, and it's incomplete. Excellent work defensively brings up fourth down. It was no secret who they were trying to get the football to. Well, no, they went to him on first down, second down, third down, all three incomplete. Yeah, and when you're unable to connect and you force it in that direction, all you're doing is giving confidence to the defense. They feel like they're really hurting you in a big way. Here's J.K. Scott now as he's on to punt for Green Bay. And he gets this away. Look at this. This is a good one. That one in the books as a 64-yard punt. And the Rams will be backed up deep to begin the drive as they take over first and 10. Offense ready to go for their next drive. This crew had to punt last time they had the ball, but when you've got a lead like this, you can tend to play the field position game. You are to an extent, especially if you like your defense, because you have the lead, you've been controlling the game. But why put them in a tougher spot? You want to get out there and get something done on offense and maybe take command of this game yourself. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. <laughs> to throw is gone. It's hauled in by Brandon Cooks. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed. Because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. To throw again on second down. Golf. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. It's a gain of 11 and a first down L.A. <laughs> I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Didn't have a receiver open downfield, as it turned out. Couldn't even find his outlet, man, because of the coverage. It's way too tight. Unable to find anyone open. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. Again, gone. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. And, partner, I think that was a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. 
So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. And they'll need the 39 here for a first. This is third down. To the air again. Golf. Into a double team and it's intercepted. Kevin King with a pick. Weaving through traffic and now he's free. And they will score. It's a Packer touchdown. And a great return as they're finally able to take him down. I don't know who all is to blame there, but I love seeing pick sixes. Nothing like seeing someone pluck it out of the air and go the other way and see people try to change directions. Hard to do. Crosby connects on the extra point, and that will get him one closer. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. The L.A. offense ready to go for their next drive. And following the pick six, and they had decent field position in throwing that pick six. We'll see how they attack this drive. And I think all you say to your guy is, listen, let's just take care of the football a little bit better. Make some better decisions on this drive, and they'll probably help him a little bit with maybe some really high percentage throws early to let him get settled back yeah, in. But they told him, they told us, they got confidence. That, that's not a problem. Yeah, not a problem at all. They just want to make sure they get things settled down a little bit for their offense and give their defense a little bit of a chance to rest. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. Tremont Williams there to break that one up. This defense trying to do its part, active hands on that play, but their offense hasn't given them much to work with. So they're not going to worry about it. On their side of the ball, all they're concerned about, can they create some scoring opportunities and help out that offense? And he's going to be stopped short of a first down as he'll get to him at about the 33. Just a yard on the run there, and that's going to bring us to a fourth down. Here's Johnny Hacker now. He's been terrific so far. This is away and a very good kick angled for the sidelines. And now where will the side judge stop his walk? That's the question. He says it crossed out of bounds at about the 17-yard line. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. Rodgers now on first down. Eluding the pressure right. He's going to take off with it. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the 20 at the 18. He'll get just a yard on the scramble. It's second down. Yeah, he only gets a few yards on first and 10, but he's better off doing that than throwing an incompletion or even worse, an interception. Final minute now in the third quarter. Second down, it's Jones. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. Up front, the struggles continue for this offense among the line. What can they do? Change the play calling? What? I think part of that, yes, changing some of the play calls, some screens, some draws, some misdirection. You want to run any type of a play that will influence these guys to continue to get upfield and find a way to use that against them and slip things in behind them. So some quick passes could work as well. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Here's J.K. Scott now, standing just outside his own goal line. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. 
This is taken at about the 14. Before they can get the punt away, whistles as we come to the end of the third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The L.A. offense ready to go for their next drive. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and ten. They run. It's Gurley. He's at the 50. The 40. Pass the 20. Touchdown, L.A. Todd Gurley. 73 yards. And the Rams tack on to their advantage. Well, they had done a really nice job on him through three quarters plus, but you just had that feeling eventually he was going to get loose. And this is why coaches always preach that it's a four-quarter game, right? It gets trite for us. It gets trite for the fans. This is exactly what they're talking about. What you did before was terrific, but will it stand up if you start giving up big plays as we saw there? Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wind up going nowhere. Well, you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm. A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. So quickly, all the way up at the 40-yard line. To throw is Rodgers. Out to his left. It's caught here by Adams. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. A good-looking drive for the Packers so far. It's a first down. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. They'll run out of the gun here. Williams. And he'll bring this one inside the 35. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Throwing on second and three, Rodgers. He's got the lane, and there he goes. And he will score. Touchdown, LA. That's the story of the game. They've been suffocating all game long on defense. They were suffocating there again in a big way. And they've done it not just by out-athleting them, which is often the case, but by being able to adjust to anything they tried to throw at them and beating them into the punch each and every time. This was a defense that was well-prepared. After the interception, here's Golf. And he slings one that's incomplete. I know they didn't tack on the two points, but I liked their attempt. After the interception return for a touchdown, I was thinking to myself, forget kicking it, go for two, and they did. Boy, yeah, and everybody's scrambling. Maybe you catch the defense on their heels. They weren't ready to be out there. Yeah, it's almost like a sudden change, right? There's a turnover, you take it away, they stuck it in the end zone. Keep the momentum going. Give credit to the defensive guys for rallying and stopping that two-point attempt. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. 
And last time, decent field position through the pick six. Obviously costly. But they can't afford to just bunker in now. All right, they, good field position means go ahead and attack on offense. Try and press the advantage a little bit. They just have to be better with the football on this possession. So the last one, that didn't bother you too much last time. No, because it's, it's exactly what you're supposed to do. You can't have good field position and not try to take advantage of it. Sometimes the defense makes a good play, too. Looking to throw again on second down. Rodgers. And he's got Rome. It's a terrific return here as he's going to have him set up with a first and goal right at about the six-yard line. And that pick just sets him up beautifully right down near the goal line. I remember being in a defensive meeting back when I was in college, and our defensive coordinator says, we're going to call this be-who-you-are defense. d lineman, you play the run. Linebackers, be aware of anything. And secondary, you play the pass. That way, you're all set, ready for whatever they put out there. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. At the six-yard line. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. They're not ready for this. They still play a suck. Here's Gurley. And not a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is a time you go play action and throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory. Now it's golf off the bootleg. Blitz coming and down he goes. Zadarius Smith able to disrupt yet another pass play. That is his third sack of the afternoon. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Rams football here as we get you reset. They've got a fourth down here in a game that looks to have been decided already. And Zerline's kick is good. And that will make this now an 18-point ball game. So with that, you figure yeah, this game's pretty much out of reach at this point. Yeah, it's going to take a heck of a comeback to come from three scores down. But don't change that channel. Don't go away. Miracles can happen. And you want to be here in case it does. You're a company man. Now, aren't I, though? The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Do they try to put together something here at the end just to take into next week? Yeah, sometimes teams want to do that and coaches want to. I remember one time I was on a team and we were losing late in the game like this and you knew it was lost. It was over, right? And the coach called a running play and pretty much said to everyone, I want to see something executed well before we get out of here. And that was the message to the team. Just something to build on. Just something to build on, get it done, and maybe we can look at that and say, we'll get better as we go forward. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. From the gun, it's Rodgers. And able to find Graham, complete. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. It's a gain of 20 and picking up the first. Ready, check, cross, cross. Rodgers to throw once more. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. Brandon, at least there's one bright side to that incompletion. What's that? It wasn't an interception. Wow. <laughs> you're, you're a nice guy. That was kind of savage. But correct. No, no pick, just incomplete that time. Rodgers again here on second and ten. And now here is another interception. Picked off by David Long. And they have the football and will set up shop at the 33-yard line. 
so many times we end a game and as we're recapping it, we're talking about what offenses did and how they won the game. Let's flip this one over. The defense, they frustrated the offense the entire ball game. That's why they're walking out of here with a victory. And they're going to love to walk out of here with that as their final act, that interception. Good way for them to end it. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave them with a second and three. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. The carry here for the big tight end. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll leave them with a third and three. And this is why aggressive defensive coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D lineman to make the play. Check, Mike 42. Here we, here we go, D. Here, here I come again. Here I come again. Here I come again. They'll try and pick up the first with Gurley. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. It'll be a first down for the Rams there on a pickup of 18. Uh, he's still rumbling, isn't he? Still looking fresh in this one despite the heavy workload. But you and I both know, well conditioned. And he did tell us that he thrives on being at his peak late in ball games. So on the heels of the run by Todd Gurley, another first and 10. And they take a knee. So the L.A. Rams with a victory here. And it was their defense that really paved the way to this victory as they allowed the one touchdown, and that was all she wrote. Almost want to do the defense chant right now, right? Defense with a couple of claps in there, but no one wants to hear that from me. Let's just talk about how they got it done, though. When you take care of every aspect of the game, shut down the run, control the airways, right? Make sure the quarterback is harassed. This type of performance.